today we're at Goodwood Festival of Speed. I think it's for Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be going around, seeing what's available, seeing some bikes, seeing the cars, seeing some hill bikes, and see what else we get up to. I've also signed up to do the Electric Trials Bike Day, which is like a whole day, sorry, experience. That's 10, 15, 20 minutes on the Electric Trials Bike. And that's on the off road centre. I'm here at the main entrance, and as you can see, it is very busy and hot. I had a great chat with one of the BSA design engineers who actually was only one of 17 people in the country and they've only got 20 bikes currently in the country but they've got 200 coming in in April, uh, almost in April, and then further 200 coming in a couple of months later. And he actually walked me through a lot of the setup, what they've done to the bike, how it's all put together and I've got to say the fit and finish of that bike is a thousand times better than I was expecting and I'm looking forward to actually trying one out on the street.
the hair on your body is not stood on end is because you don't have any. It is absolutely fantastic. Up the hill, he still looks stylish. He's still the right weight. Bear in mind that he's 80 years old. You know, there are some great riders in this country. John Cooper is one of ours, of course. JC might be listening to this as well. Lovely wife Rosie up in Derby, you know, racing from the classic era. But you've still got to say, this man won TT. He won Ulster Grand Prix. Back in the day, the TT and the Ulster Grand Prix used to be part of the World Championship. You had to do those rounds to score the points to be a world champion. This man, sadly, Ago's Leap, which is uh, known as, obviously, Giacomo Agostini is known as Ago. His leap on the Isle of Man has uh, caused trouble for the sidecars in this year's TT and we've had tragedy there. Uh, we're all affected, we will remember them. Ian Simpson comes up behind him, the Scotsman comes up on an RC45, uh, that is another a much later era four-stroke uh, 750cc machine, beautiful machine, so Simo uh, comes up behind the bike and here is David Todd. Now this, this man, even though he's what, 27 years old, he's an aspiring youngster. the high side by the way low slides are when it spins out from underneath you and you just roll over on the that's what i like to see but he is he podium of course in the northwest 200 podium at the tt for the first time this year as well david todd is a man of the future maybe on the road but definitely on short circuits as well very few riders nowadays like john mcginnis who could combine being successful on the, the short circuits and on the road unlike giacomo agostini as i was saying earlier on a man that had to do both Lovely style that he's riding into this bike and some beautiful wheelies he's doing and he's being sensible. It's not his bike, yeah. When it's your bike, it's like extending your arm. And then so by Paget uh, Honda and uh, Paget's Clyde Paget, of course, Paget's of Batley up there in the north, they have been synonymous with great riders and great bikes over a great number of times. And uh, Clive is a man that doesn't even decorate his house, he spends every money, every bit of money he's got. Bikes on the team, and Davy Todd is one of his riders. Now we're going to see some more great stunts coming up from uh, Sam Sunderland, the Dakar winner who's uh, constantly been showing off very impressively on all the runs he's been doing up this hill. Very, very talented man in a very, very tough form. Dakar, well, you know, it's like from a car perspective. You imagine blasting through the sand of the dunes on just two wheels, and especially if you get it wrong, the opportunity to tumble at 80 mile an hour through the dunes is scary. Well, that they've got to get all the routing right there for anyone else to help them. They've got to get everything right just to speed and know exactly where they're going. Well, they've got to roll a roller type landing on the front like a riding that 1992 machine and of course that actually plays in quite well to the fact 1992 was the last time he won a world title and there was a certain other bloke that we're going to be seeing a bit later on with the moustache that uh, comes from Formula One that was pretty quick in 1992 it was a great year wasn't it Lee Bowers, who's the uh, stunt rider who was uh, working with Terry Grant earlier on over the course of the weekend. Looks like he's going to be uh, doing a little trip up the hill and well, uh, giving us some entertainment once again. I can imagine that uh, somewhere waiting for him is Terry Grant because they had this two wheels versus four wheels stunt that worked rather well the other day when we were watching it. He didn't, uh, he didn't catch on to the Nigel Mansell thing that I was trying to put together then. <laughs> you ignored it. <laughs> well, it's just because I was trying to focus on what we were about to see next. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, 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 okay. But, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing a lot of Nigel Mansell coming up. And here we go. Here's the uh, here's a bit of action on a motorbike. Probably not quite your style of riding, Keith. Oh, I think I've been that high before, but it wasn't in control. I was just being spat off. <laughs> 